There you are, you you elusive metal. That took me a whole two minutes to find. At least based on the recording. Anyway, what's up everybody? I am Luke from the Master Sword Valley. Welcome back to more Sonic Unleashed. God, it feels like a long time since we were last year. Hey you, yes you. That's delicious chai. I'm a specialist in the field. I spend my day seeking heals my chai. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, last time we uh, finished up in Halaska, putting the cast emerald in this temple there, and made it here to Shamar along with Professor Pickle. And of course, Amy came along as well. This time, we are going to check out the outskirts of Shamar and see just what they have in store for us. I'm sure that they have something good for us. I don't know. Let's check. Now I don't remember. Now, I don't remember if I said it last time, but. Gotta say, music here ain't too bad. But as we look up here, look at that. We can get ourselves a pretty heavy pair of shoes. I mean, even though they're golden, you, they would still kind of be he rather heavy and kind of cumbersome for Sonic to wear. And then we get ourselves an book right there. And as for the uh, entrance world of, of Shamar right here, things are definitely shaken up. We got ourselves a crystal ball right there. Let down for you because no one else would even think of eating that. Like, really? Who else thinks that looks like a piece of candy? And we got some red tea right there. Now we know what they're actually used for. Oh, what? We, oh, so we started the guy there that wants tea and he's actually important for something. What that is, I don't know, honestly, because I've never, I never fully investigated with all the tea and everything in this place. There's still a videotape and see where else, where's the rest of the stuff? It feels so good to hear Sonic finally say that again. Just so much excitement behind all of, behind, you know, him just being able to go fast. Hey! You did not just do that, screw you. Anyway, you're still giving us a tutorial about that? I, I think Sonic knows how to boost. You know, just, just a hunch. I think he still knows. Get the results screen right there. There's another moon. Perfect. Now where's the rest? Now we got some egg elements right there. That's the classification I'm gonna call them by, is the egg elements right there. I think the other ones are locked behind this, the light speed shoes. Now, with the entire interface of the controller, we've had A, B, and we've had X. But now, we can finally use Y to dash, just like this. It, I can't believe it took this long to get the light speed dash. I'm gonna go and find all the medals really quick. Uh, but the thing is, is that we're not going on to the, uh, we're actually not going on to the stage here. And I'll, I'll, I'll come back for it later. But yeah, like I said, we're not gonna investigate the stages here in Shamar. We're actually gonna head out. Now, one of the, one of the crummy things about uh, this place, at least compared to Spagonia, is that as the Werehog, you can't take the shortcut right here. You have to run all the way around just to get back to the uh, world map. It's a little sucky. You see anything different now that it's nighttime? Boy, I could sure use fine climbing down some iced coffee. On hot days like this, iced coffee is no brainer over hot chai. It's like you could use a little help. Now I would consider, I guess now that we're in a battle right here, I would consider Shamar the, the biggest hub world that there is, especially for if you decide to do this. Oh, red beans. I hate you so much. See, like right there. I think I, I think I went over this in Dragon Road, but I hate red bees. And you're gonna, we're gonna come across them way more in, in the stages right here. These things suck. So if if can if you can just go ahead and do your reaction commands. Really? Okay, I just, I grazed X. Uh, just, I'm trying to pause to know what the action command is. Boom! There we go. The Dark Gaia has been expelled from at least one person here. <laughs> Suddenly my mind feels so clear. Now I can once more experience the wonderful world of Chai. Again, do you say anything else? Hot Chai on a hot day, that's how pros do it. Maybe I gotta come back during the daytime, but anyway. We're gonna hit, like I said, now that we, now that I've talked to him and known that he's corrupted by Dark Gaia, we're gonna head out. 
Now you might notice we also have Empire City on the map right here. It's another place that we can go for now. We're not going there though. We're going to head back to Spagonia. Now, unless uh, you're not the kind of person who wants to go to go for 100% like me, you pretty much have no reason to go back to Spagonia ever. It's kind of a shame because I, I guess I might have said I like Spagonia more than Shamar, honestly. Like the music in both places aren't isn't bad and all. I just I just like the city look of Spagonia here. So it's kind of a shame that like if I wasn't going after the optional stuff, uh, I would never have a reason to come back here. Okay, now that we're here in Spagonia, we're gonna crawl, we're gonna slide under right here. Sure, sure, we can go up there. Actually, no, we, we're not going to. Did I get all the, no, I, what? I didn't. Okay, we'll get that right there. And then we'll light speed. Over here to not only get a one up, but also get an art book. And I missed it. Great. All right, well, I guess we'll get that uh, on our way back. We're gonna go and hit this and turn it to nighttime because Sonic in his hedgehog form can't flip those levers. <laughs> All right, let's flip the lever. Now I will admit what we're about to access here is quite possibly the worst stage Ever in the game at least it's optional so it's not outright required to finish this game but yeah El but the entrance getting to it is pretty cool I like it a lot let's see oh that wasn't a uh, I thought I had gotten another moon medal for that oh okay then so as you can see one of the moon medals is down here if you, if you don't want to bother collecting the medals in the stages I mean why, why would you not want to collect them in the stages seriously we'll grab this and pop off now we want to switch it to daytime see what i mean about getting to this stage utilizing both hedgehog and werehog to do it is pretty cool anyway now that we are back we'll grab some rings grab some more rings and then hit up, or go I can never predict what Sonic is going to say when he boosts. But right here, Rooftop Run, Act 2. As much praise as I was giving to Rooftop Run, Act 1, even though the stage, like I said, is optional, and I even love Act 3, shaking it up with the Chow Hunt. We move on to literally the worst stage in the game. Like I said, it's optional, so it's not required to finish the game. I will get to the what I think is the not so great required stage of the game. But this stage straight up sucks. Sonic just decided to go for a stroll around the clock tower on these floating platforms. I guess Eggman might have been watching us to realize like, Hey, <laughs> stubborn little hedgehog, you'll never take down my forces. Now that they're on top of platforms like this, how dare you go fast? Yes, because we cannot go fast right here. The, the thing about the stage is that it is entirely platforming based. If more than not, you don't want to go fast because obviously you're going to screw yourself up if, that, if that's the case. Like, like ser seriously, this stage is just aw is just awful right here. And given that this is an act two stage, it is in fact one where you're just running left. They do give you one ups right here too, so that you can uh, grind one ups because they realize just how crappy the stage is. On top of that as well, if you were thinking like, oh, I could just ta I could just tackle this after I tackle the main rooftop run stage. No, you, I feel like you straight up need the, the light speed dash because without it, you're not going to be able to pass it. Because the unfortunate thing about this is the fact that, um, get, take care of you. And it's the fact that you get the air, the air, the air dash shoes. I can't talk apparently, but before even accessing the first rooftop, rooftop run stage. And if you didn't have that, or if the homing attack was on a separate button, I feel like that would make things so much easier here. But of course, no, it, it doesn't, which just makes things so annoying. Whoa. But, whoa, 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 whoa. 
There we go. Get ourselves another one up. So as you can see, yeah, like I said, you're running laps around here. You do have those electro flyers to worry about. You also have the camera being a pain in the butt. I legit thought I was going to do that my first try. And at this point, I don't care what rank I get. Because I just want to finish the stage. Ah, uh, screw you. Okay, go, go. They also shake things up by throwing spike balls in, into the mi into the mix as well. Huh. Get you and believe it or not, we're actually almost close to the end. So if you miss any of the medals, medals. What am I, a cat? If you miss any of the medals on your first go around, you can always get them the second go around. They also throw that at you, which is such a jerk move. Almost had it! Come on, Sonic! Happened again! Sonic, what are you doing? There we go! Jeez. What's my rank? Can't win them all. Okay, I don't care what rank, rank I got for this stage. We are done with the worst optional stage in the game. That stage sucks. Just straight up sucks. And again, you, you can't even like homing attack to save yourself in that. You constantly air boost because you keep collecting rings for it. Oh God, that's awful. But... We're done with all the stages for a rooftop run. Spagonia. Yes. I'm going to find that last sun medal real quick. Oh, and as a consolation prize, you get a one up for your troubles outside of it. Thanks, get locked, game. That stage took me six minutes because I have a stopwatch uh, doing the same thing that I did for um, the end of Superstar Saga is that I have a stopwatch going to know when uh, like like how long I've actually been like doing stages for. So, yeah. Wow. So that's where it. Oh, my God. I feel stupid. First, I need an awkward angle to do this to point Sonic in. Okay, get that. And we get the record. Vocal theme of endless possibility. Works for me. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's go back to Shamar. After we get a one-up. Alright. Back to Shamar. And to do the mission that we actually set out to do. Also to find the other metals that are here. All right, well, I want to I want to talk to the chai guy and see. If, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, you just look like Eggman. Do you have anything? My friend in blue. I'm collecting all kinds of tea leaves in my quest for ultimate chai, but I never found any red tea leaves. I've got red tea right here. Yeah, tea in the entrance stage. Here you go. Got some red tea. We're going to make some chai straight away. Tip top tea one clear. And we're he's going to ask for more, I believe. Time to move on. Onto a new land in search of the ultimate chai. You going it? Where are you going? Okay, so we'll deal with him later again. You can definitely tell based on my rings that uh, I had to do so many runs of rooftop run two. All right, now where is the other? Moon. Screw it. We'll again get, get them later. This is Arid Sands, Act One. First level of Shamar. For as much as uh, Act Two of uh, Rooftop Run sucked, we're gonna make up for a good one. I wanted to do that uh, incredibly difficult stage first, just so that we didn't we didn't end on a bad note. I want to end on a good note with an actually good stage. 
Now, do I like this stage more than Rooftop Run? Nah. I still like it, though, especially the fact that you're running through the city again. But um, I consider this, like, the first and kind of only stage where you actually have tangible NPCs that can stop your movement. Yes, I'm not kidding. They can actually stop you should you run into them. Like right there. See? Somehow Sonic just knows to not not keep moving and just like just like crashes into them and somehow they don't go flying back how does that even make sense really but this is also the stage to try out the uh life the life speed boots i mean the first you know required stage also that trail of rings is incre is incredibly finicky like i i don't i don't really like it because I have mashed the Y button so many times and I actually learned just to jump at it, not just mash it. Whoa! I forgot that was a thing. Get a 10 ring right there. Boom! You have, you have no reason not to miss that. Because unlike unlike the other stage that shall not be named, I talk about it like it's Voldemort, like it's Voldemort right there. Uh, yeah, you can actually get it right there because we have had the wall jump shoes for the longest time. Right, is there a second power up? That was interesting. I obviously I did the Malzor first. And as you see, same thing's happening. Where I'm in front of the spring in a 2D in a 2D section. How does that work? That okay. I screwed up. Whoop! Come on, Sonic! Sonic! Oh good god. You know what? What's up here? Aha, an art book. Good God, Sonic, go! Nope, Sonic! Go! go. There we go! Making good progress right right here. Thank you, Steve. Take either loop right there. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get those rings, because I've been boosting through them, and yet I just cannot seem to get them. I don't know what is... What's up with them right there? I don't know if they're supposed to be there for... Ouch! It's supposed to be be there to like entice your boost or what? I it's really weird. But we also have that part right there where we're uh I think it's actually similar to uh um, come on Sonic Cool Edge where we're dodging things as they're falling. So a lot of gimmicks are kind of getting reused just in um in an Arabian look instead of you know a, uh Arctic look. Ah! Dang it! Okay, let's try again. Let's just start at the loops. Woo! Let's go! Whoa! Yeah, the stages are definitely getting harder from here, but I would say that there is like one stage that is actually like fun hard. Some of these others are straight up just hard. You'll see what I mean when we come to a certain other stage. Go ahead and hit. Go. Ah! Come on, game! Here, uh. There we go. I got them both right that time. Now I know why people are not really a fan of the required QTEs in that part. At least some QTEs are optional. Yeah, but right there in that section that I took, you can go pretty much pretty much any way. It is pre it's pretty much free free range as to how exactly you want to get over to this area, which I which I find really cool. What? go these are we have very thin pillars right here to bounce across super super fun of course not but ah damn it go sonic gotta go fast go. all right Ooh, wall running right here I, no I, I don't think this is the, this is the first time we've seen this but obviously keep boosting you stop it all with your boost and you will plummet and no one wants that Go all the way through here. I love the running through all the gorges right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have a tendency to always miss for some reason. You can even miss by going underneath the key. It's so dumb. Oh, I gotta try that again. Yeah, I think I'm going to. A D rank? Come on, man. Anyway, there's the Gaia T K uh, key for the temple. Or daytime temple, excuse me. Get some speed and call it a day. All right. Well, I'm going to try that off. Try that again off camera, just so I can get a better rank. I'm not gonna show the stage again. All right, well, we got the, we got the, oh, we got a half of a key. Let's go ahead and talk to Pickle. See if he has some insightful knowledge about us, about this right here. I can also use a flash. Amy, do you say anything? 
Oh, whoa, the game lag. Spagonia was a city too, but wow, Shamar sure is a big town. Not many people around though, huh? Maybe it's too hot for them. And yet people are thriving in the city just fine. Just with the kind of outfits that they're wearing. What are you talking about, Amy? Yo, pa, yo pops, we got a key. I received word of EC. Uh, Eggman robots have been spotted nearby. I'd like you to go check on the situation post haste, Sonic. I don't think I have any souvenirs to give him, but I'll check. Nope, I don't have any. Get those. Nah, I'm good. And of course, he replenishes the flash for us. Awesome. Well, with that, uh, I f this is kind of a long episode. I'm already up to 31 minutes. I bet a lot of that stuff got cut out right there. So I guess we'll go find that last metal and then call it a video. Okay, so apparently it's actually pretty well hidden. It's right over here. Can't believe that I didn't actually think of looking there. I can't believe myself. But anyway, we made it through the first stage of Air of Shamar. We had gotten through the worst stage and we are prompted now to go to Empire City. Next time on Sonic Unleashed, we will make our way there. See if we can find another key. See you guys then.